We are at the National Quartet Convention. I am standing here with the members of Driven Quartet. Standing right next to me, Jason Funderburk. And Jason, welcome to Gospel Music Today. Oh, well, it's good to be here, man. I, I love you guys and look forward to doing an interview with you guys all the time. So we're having a good time this year. Convention, of course, is as crazy as usual, but, but uh, we're having a good time. It's good to see you. Thank you. It's good to see you guys. I'm going to ask you to introduce the rest of the group. Sure, no problem. Standing next to me is uh, Scott Peniel. He sings the tenor for us. Behind him is Will Lane. He sings the low part. And uh, behind him is Chad Smith. He sings the baritone. So, yeah. Now, we know Chad's been around for a while. When did, when did uh, the other two guys come on? Well, now, Chad and, and Will and I, actually, we've been singing together for, for about the same amount of time. Okay. Matter of fact, we have been singing here. When I joined the Anchorman Quartet, Will and Chad were already there. And so, uh, but about two years ago, God sent this young man our way to, to fill the tenor position. And uh, so we're just, we're going wherever God wants us to go and just having a good time, man. That's right. Now, Driven Quartet has been a quartet since when? January of 2007. And where's the home base for you guys? Charlotte, North Carolina. All right. Now, the, um, what does the name mean to you? Driven, I guess we, we all talked about this. We had we had a lot of different ideas for names, and and uh, we you know we just talked about it, threw it around, and and um, you know driven just came to mind because we we just got to drive to do what God would have us to do, not us. We're we're driven to do God's will, and uh, that's that's all we want to do. And and you know there's a lot of people that that uh, and I'll just be honest, there's a lot of people that are in groups I think because they just like to hear themselves sing, but we honestly loved uh, we. We're doing this because we want to do what God has called each and every one of us individually and collectively to do. So, yeah. You came from a gospel singing family. We know that's the family uh, heritage there. But when, how did you know or when did you know that this is what you wanted to do? You, you know, it started back in... Um, I wouldn't say that I necessarily fought it for a long time, but of course with my dad traveling, um, I never thought that I would do this. But when God called me, I graduated high school in 95, and when God called me uh, to do this, I, I waited another year and, and worked a, a great job, and, and I was just miserable. And so I guess you could say from 95 to 96, uh, is, that's when I actually started traveling and singing gospel music, and, and the calling was yeah, a little bit previous to that. So, you know, when God calls you to do something, you don't do it, you'll You'll be miserable yeah. for a while right. and, until you heed to that call. And so I'm, I'm glad I had the opportunity to do that. Once, you know, I started, I actually started singing with my dad. And then it evolved into more, you know, of singing full time with the anchorman. And then, of course, now uh, driven. That's excellent. Let me uh, bring these guys in a little closer. Sure. And, uh, how did you get connected with these guys? Well, actually, I knew Chad. Uh, I had filled in for the anchorman uh, back when Steve Ladd. I uh, was on his honeymoon and I filled in for him and Chad and I met and we developed a relationship from that. I was singing with a local group and we would have the anchorman come in and sing and so we got to know each other and I was formerly a youth pastor and I knew that God had called me to go out and evangelize and I had been praying about it for a while and it took a while for me to realize that that's what God wanted me to do and I was kind of fighting it and didn't really want to submit to it, you know, because it's kind of tough to be on the road sometimes, you know, and Chad actually uh, we had talked, and at the time, their tenor singer uh, felt the call to go to a church in Georgia and lead in worship. And before he even told me that they were looking for a tenor, I had shared with him that God had been laying it on my heart that I needed to go and submit to the call that he placed on my life. And so we talked, and we said, you know, we're just going to pray about this thing. And for three months, we prayed about it, and, and uh, God just led us to this point to where we came together. And it was really evident, and it's still evident today. Uh, uh, I've been with them a little over two years, and... As time has gone on, we've just seen God work in our own lives, individually and collectively, and it's just been amazing what God's been doing. Uh, we give him all the glory for it. He's, uh, he's opened up a lot of doors for us. And we're getting to have interviews with you guys. So it's been, it's been amazing what God's doing, so we're thankful for that. Good, good news. Let me get Will over here. Hi, Will. Who's your favorite bass singer? Favorite bass singer? Um, a lot of people may not know him. Uh, a lot of people may, but uh, Jimmy Jones and the Harmonizing Four was my favorite bass singer of all time back in the 50s and 60s. But um, I mean, I have a lot of different favorites and look up to a lot of them. Tim Riley, especially, he's one of the 
the greatest still living today and awesome. And But Jimmy Jones, he'd have to be my all-time favorite bass singer all the way around. So That's good. That's good to hear. That's that's really good to know. Let me get Chad over right. here. How you doing? Hey, Chad. You all right? Very good. 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 We want to know now, you've been, uh, you've been with uh, Jason here for quite a while. Yes, sir. When you guys get off the road, come home on Monday, mm -hmm. uh, what, what does a gospel singer do for the rest of the week? What do you, what do you like to do to relax? To Whatever his wife wants him to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Good answer. Normally, my wife works a full-time job, and um, so when I'm home, I have two daughters, one and four, and uh, so I keep the kids. Okay. I keep the kids to stay at home, and uh, um, my family's a real close-knit family. Uh, we all live real close to each other, so uh, when I have stuff to do, like mow the grass or do whatever my wife wants me to do around the house, uh, Mom, she'll come over and keep the kids for a while, and uh, Dad helps out so much. I'm, I'm so blessed to have a good Christian family. My dad pastors a church back home. He's been there for about 30 years at the same church, and uh, so uh, I, I just, you know, I stay at home pretty much, and I'm actually uh, looking here soon to take some online classes, and so uh, I think that'll kind of help supplement the income a little bit, you know. Okay, great. But uh, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy getting to be home, but I enjoy getting to minister to people about the Lord. It's very important to me. That's a nice life, the exciting Amen. life of a gospel singer. Hey Amen. <laughs> it's, it's exciting and yeah. interesting, that's yeah. for sure. Let me get Jason back over right, here bro. just for a second. We want to ask you about uh, what you've been doing for recording and everything, but uh, what a... What a great group, you know, oh not only God, the singing, but uh, the, the personalities here. Oh, thank you, man. And uh, something we, we, that we ask about, and we know we don't know if everybody really uh, sees this when they see the groups. I, it probably is not a major thing to find the singers, but you've got to find the right people sure. to have a group. And you've got a good bunch of them. You're exactly right. I, I was actually talking to somebody about it tonight. Singing, it honestly, is 10% is of it. I mean, I know that sounds crazy because that's what we do as our profession. Mm -hmm. But I'll be honest with you, I'm, I believe that any group that is successful, um, um, you know, maybe in the eyes of the public, I think one honestly needs to have that relationship with the Lord. I mean, and, and I, I say that you know with all of my heart I think there's a lot of people like I had said earlier that do things for the wrong reason but I think if you've got God first in your life and you've got that harmony on the bus sort of say is what right. we say it it will flow over to the to the stage to the platform and uh, that I think that's to me you've always grown up and I don't know if you've ever heard anybody say man that group's just got something different about them well when I used to look at the cathedrals, I would think, wow, what is it about those guys? Well, I can honestly tell you, because I know you know, my dad and, and his life and what he's been through and, and, and what kind of life he lives, I can honestly tell you that I know George and Glenn were who you thought they were. They were that way. And I, I have found out that that sort of it factor is the fact that they have that relationship with the Lord and they're doing it for the right reason. And they, they, they got along. They, they harmonized together spiritually and vocally. And that's, right. so I think that's kind of a cool thing. That's so. Great. Have you guys been recording? We have actually. We we just got out of the studio. I guess it was a couple weeks ago, and uh, we've been working on a on a project, and and we tried to get it done for convention, um, but we uh, we're just we're 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 picky guys. <laughs> so we said, you know what? We'd rather make sure everything's exactly right the way we want it, and and make sure we have it, you know, later on, and it's right, than have it for convention. So we really wanted it though. But yeah, we're working on some some good stuff right now. Currently asking writers if they've got songs that they would like to send us because you know we've had uh, this will be our third CD out as driven and so we're we're kind of wanting writers to listen to us you know get a feel for us and send us some stuff so yeah we're we're staying busy in that realm so God's been good in, in the lowest economical time for our ministry we've been able to do more now you tell me that's not God that's what I like about that's it right. amen that's, that's right. good and we'll keep up with the progress of that at the uh, driven quartet website which is uh, it's www.drivenqt.com Jason, all the members of Driven Quartet, thank you very much for being with us on Gospel Music today. Thanks for having us. We appreciate you. There's more coming up on Gospel Music Today.